end this Dungeon Collect here with another action figure review. And here I have the House of X uh, Wolverine. So uh, let's go over the packaging here first. So we get this red circle of a X symbol with the line across it. And you get the min part at the bottom. And you get these like weird symbols here. I think that's supposed to like write out uh, Wolverine. Yeah, you can definitely see that Wolverine there. Um, and then you get the House of X symbol there. You get a picture of Wolverine there, all pissed off with his claws out there. You get uh, X symbol on top there. Here's the back with the picture of Wolverine here. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's all the figures in the way with Wolverine, Professor X, Omega, uh, Prime, uh, Sentinel, Jean Grey, uh, I can't remember her name. Uh, Moira, uh, Magneto, and Cyclops. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is out of the package here. So first we get one accessory here. It's an extra head here. So it's like more of a serious face here. You get some gray hairs or for gray hair for the beard part here. Like a chin strap for him. Uh, and then you get this cool mask for him. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the mask from what they were going to give him for X-Men. I mean, uh... For X-Men Days of Future Past, but they decided not to. Uh, you get some like stitching down the middle of it. It's the same sculpt as this, except this one's smiling uh, for the one that's on right now. But And also this one's um, a little more serious, so like I said. Uh, you get some like silver eyes there. You get the brown uh, parts for like the side burns or ear part there, if you want to call that. And you get more stitching through the Ooh, It's kind of like a... It's like a webbing thing, except there's no cobweb parts going out to the sides. You just see like the lines going out three ways here, here, and here. Um, but yeah, they did a good job on the, this face sculpt. I like it a lot. So yeah, there's the back for you. Um, but this is the only accessory that he comes with. Um, this one, um, it's him smiling, which is kind of weird because he never smiles. But it's House of X, so yeah. Uh, and he doesn't come with that chin strap beard. Um, but yeah, uh, I already went over the face sculpt. You get some weird paint down the freaking side of his face. That's weird. But yeah. Um, and it kind of looks like the paint's a little messed up there too. All right, a little miss paints here. But I like it. It's like the classic suit. Um, you get the red and yellow X symbol there with the belt here, brown. And you get the brown down the like short sleeves here, uh, down the middle through the crotch area, down through the inner part of the thighs, and then it goes out towards the rest of the legs here, around it. And you get the brown boots, which are look really cool. Kind of remind me of the boots from uh, Captain America from um, Endgame boots, I think. So that's what it kind of reminds me of. And you get the brown gloves here. Uh, you get some nice hair detail down uh, on your arms here, really squiggly. Um, so yeah, you get like the straps for the gloves here. And then um, I like these claws a lot because they're darker um, and they're a little bit thicker too. And uh, you could still take them off, I believe, if I can, without breaking it. You should be able to. I don't want to do anything bad to it though. They're a little bit tough to get out. There you go. So yeah, that's what it looks like when you take them out. I don't do them because I don't want to lose the claws. But for this figure, they they look a little different. I think that's so that way they stay in a little bit easier, easily. Um, which I prefer them in. I don't like taking them out. I just don't want to lose them. But um, let's see. Because after you take them out, it kind of looks weird. Because that one kind of looks like it's popped out a little bit. But yeah, um, but besides that, oh yeah, and then here's the back part, which I didn't show you guys, I don't think, but uh, let's go over the articulation here. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. He can look left and right. Uh, very little head pivoting. His shoulders can move out, it's a little stiff. That far, not a whole lot. He does have a butterfly joint, so he can move it back that far, forward that far, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, you could see, you could see this line here where they kind of like glued it together. Uh, so that way it stays together. It doesn't bother me a whole lot, 
he also gets some brown paint underneath his armpit there. Um, so yeah, uh, you got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. I wish they had the pinless joints. Um, his wrist can hinge down that far. Um, up that far, 360 rotation around the sh uh, wrist there. He has an ab crunch so you can go forward that far. Back of that far, he has a waist wheel, so you can go 360 around there. His legs can kick out that far, forward, quite a lot actually. Um, backwards, just a little. Uh, he has a thigh cut, double joints and knees, no pinless joints again. Um, no boot cut, surprisingly. Um, his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. But yeah, that's a really, I think this figure is really cool. It has decent articulation. There's some paint miss ups there. Um, but I like how this head sculpt looks on him. It's different. I like it a lot. And I like the claws a lot too. Very stiff, so they're pretty easy to stay in. And they're not so flimsy. So they're pretty, they, they do a good job on staying it straight. Um, but yeah, I like this figure a lot. It's probably my favorite Wolverine uh, figure that I have. Um,. Uh, but yeah, besides that, that's all I got. Um, if you guys could check out my Twitch, I do streams. I try to do them every night if I can. I also do some, sh I do streams for YouTube video ones. Like I did in the Little Nightmare one. I did streams there. So if you guys want to watch that whole thing, um, I usually videotape myself doing it and then I post it on YouTube and just cut out the parts that weren't important. I usually talk through them. Uh, like I talk to my buddy to quell through it and a bunch of other stuff but if you guys could go check out my twitch um it's the hunter collector like my youtube um but besides that uh really cool figure uh and that's all that